Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create an icon alias using Apple Script. So first we'll need to open Apple Script Editor and we'll begin. So we need to create an application first so that we can attach our um, icon to it. So we just do display dialog and then we'll just do with no do check out my icon and I'll just do a title so with title icon then I'll just create some buttons um, we'll just do meh and cool this application can be anything it's just I'm creating a quick one as an example and then we'll just do default button 2 because it is going to be cool then we'll compile and run check out my icon meh and cool if you don't know how to create um, a simple application I've got a video on that as well so just check that out um, it's meh at the moment because we don't actually have an icon on it so to get an icon, we're, we're going to have to find one. You can download them from some websites. Some are free, some you need to pay for. I'll put a link to a good icon website in my description. Um, but first, I'll just show you how to find one from an app we'll already have. So we'll use QuickTime Player as an example. We need to go and show package contents, contents, resources. It will come up like this. All you need to do is scroll down until you find the, the .icns file. There we go. QuickTime Player X .icns. We'll then copy and paste. Close that and close that. And then we need to do a icon alias. So I'll do with icon alias and then double bracket path to me then close one bracket space and space and then we're going to do a quotation so content colon resources because this is where we're going to save it and then colon then we need to put in our icon. So whatever it's saved as, this is saved as QuickTime Player X .icns. So we need to type in that exactly, even with the capitals. So Quick Time Player X .icns, and then quotation. And we need to do a space and as string so it'll attach itself to it. Then we're going to close that bracket and compile. And we're going to have to save it, so we'll save my icon. Um, remember to save it as an application. Save. And then here it is. So, the, the way to get in, there's two ways to get the icon into your app. We can do show package contents, contents, resources, and then just copy and paste that into here. Or. You can just go and bundle contents and then drag that into there and then bundle contents. Um, and then if we run it, there we go, check out my icon. Cool. To get the icon here instead of the applet icon, what we can do is we can go and show package contents, contents, resources, and then there's going to be this applet.icns. Just move that into the trash and then we can copy and paste that and then we're going to have to get info and rename it have to, you have to rename it to applet the icns and then close that close that then if we go and get info it's here and then it should appear there so here it is my icon Check out my icon. Cool. 
This has been Matt with the Mac. Thanks for watching.